So in this one, I wanted to follow up with the last video I did about Budgie on Tumbleweed because I feel like I left it on kind of a negative note and I don't want to do that. I want to leave it on a positive note. So I've returned to Budgie just for this video. I'm going to stick with Matei and I'll tell you why at the end of this one, but I'm back on Budgie here as you can see. This is Budgie on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. We're running X11 instead of Wayland. Uh, this is AMD Vega graphics, so I could run Wayland if it was supported, but this is just X. And this is Budgie version 10.6.2. Comes from OBS and it's built from source, so it doesn't have any customizations or like special sauce that you would get from, say, Solus's Budgie or Ubuntu's Budgie, which comes with extensions, all sorts of stuff going on. So I've made some changes from the last time that you saw it. I think the panel was on the bottom and the theme and style was all messed up. Let me show you what I've got going on with the theme. This is just Arc. Arc is a classic theme. I think that I showed you guys a uh, Numix last time, which is another kind of classic theme, but I think that Arc looks better here. Let me open up files so you can see the file manager. So here's the file manager. It is Nautilus, straight from GNOME. So they just call it files. I, did they actually change it to files or is it still called Nautilus? But this is GNOME's file manager. It's built into Budgie from what I understand. So in the other video, I talked about how the terminal points to like the terminal friendly shortcut or whatever points to GNOME terminal. That's just the terminal that is apparently shipped with this iteration of Budgie. You could use anything. Like, the desktop is not bound to this terminal. You could change it to anything. You can't change the file manager to anything. And it's even more unfortunate because right-click does work in Nautilus, but it is still broken on the desktop. And I don't know why that is. Desktop icons are enabled. Nothing's changing. I can't right-click back here to change the desktop. But I can like go go to a, a picture and change the wallpaper like so. It says it wants to replace it, which is weird. But that should change, yeah. So that this integration works, but the actual right clicking of the desktop doesn't for some reason. So yeah, there is that. Uh, I think Raven. Raven had some troubles last time. I got that figured out. A really cool thing about Raven is the calendar widget. I believe that it populates these with calendar events, but I, I haven't set any of that up. And you can change your input and audio sources. I'm not going to change this because it might screw OBS up, maybe. But you can change your inputs and outputs on the fly. You can't do this with Mate, and I don't even think you could do this with Cinnamon. So this is actually a really killer feature for me because I have these. This is like a headset that I use for Discord. And then, of course, I've got my microphones, multiple settings for my studio microphones, so I find myself changing these quite often. And of course, it has a notification tray, which I do not believe that Matei has a robust version. It might have something, but nothing like a tray that archives all of your notifications, which I actually find very important. So I showed you the theme, I showed you the right-click bug that is still busted. Uh, one thing that I didn't fix, but I can't really fix because, well, I guess I can, but I'm not going to, is I can't search for flat pack. So I have, I have OBS running. It is a flat pack, but it's on this other workspace, as you can see. I had to uh, run it from a terminal. And the reason for that, I looked into this, and my shell, if we open up, um, whoop, not Xterm. We could use Xterm, but Xterm is pretty ugly. But if we open up Tilex, which um, I can't recommend enough as a, a really good GTK based terminal, is I am using Fish. And if we do Flatpak update, you can see the top area here. Let's let it, yeah, sure, you can update, that's fine. But it says these directories are not in your path. And I looked into this and apparently this is a bug with Fish. These are in my path, but only for Bash or presumably only not for fish. For some reason, fish can't pick these up. So when I go to search, it's searching my path, which is provided by fish because fish is my shell and it can't find it because it doesn't have this environment variable or it's not set up right. I'm not exactly sure how Matei gets away with this because it works fine there. The workaround for this is to go to your local folder, go to applications. So under home, local, share, applications, 
you've got all of these desktop files. Now in the last video, I said it was weird that my games, Alien vs. Predator, I think the Guild 2, Gothic might be in here. These are coming from this folder here. So what I could do and what I have done is you could create desktop shortcuts for certain applications. So I've got Chrome and I think that just points to uh, YouTube Music. So this is a Chrome profile that points to YouTube Music. I'm not gonna open this because I think that there's like actual account profile information embedded in this, but you get the idea. You can just make these uh, desktop shortcuts with not really, it's an any file basically, and there's not really a lot going on. It's just the name and then the command to execute. And in this case, it's calling Steam. But anyways, it's kind of a long way of saying you can fix the flat pack issue by creating desktop shortcuts or by just not using fish. But I love fish, it's my favorite shell, and I'm not ditching it. So I would, I would rather just work around this problem. Another issue that I found and resolved was um, if I go to screenshot, I actually installed GNOME screenshot. What's a better example? Kaja or Kaha? That didn't show up. And the reason why it didn't show up, this, this was kind of annoying, but also understandable. I'm gonna go to my computer and then I'm gonna search for dot desktop. And this is pretty cool. The search worked right out of the box. As you can see, it's populating all this stuff from user share. And let's look for Kaha. Here's Kaha computer. So let's pop this open with Kwrite. I actually got rid of Pluma because I, I wrote a whole bunch of notes on uh, like a while ago, yesterday, I guess. But I wrote a bunch of notes and I hit control S instinctively and it threw all my notes away. The reason why Kaha is not showing up here is because of this, only show in Mate. So presumably if we remove this and save it, this document can't, oh, because it's root, right. Well, you get the idea. Let's just bail out and discard those changes. So not everything is gonna show up and that's fine. Like for example, the budgie daemon, we probably don't want to show up. It's probably hidden, only show in budgie. So that, that would actually mean that this wouldn't show up in Mate. I'm not, act what is this? Budgie background services? Oh, that's obscured too. I'm not sure how, but anyways. And now the last thing I'd like to show before I move away from Budgie, I'm gonna stick with Mate for now. Um, I'm probably gonna switch to something else in the future, but uh, I've this week has been spent looking at Budgie and Mate, and we're towards the end of the week, so I'm just kind of wrapping this up with the video. So right here are two screenshots of HTOP. The reason why I'm using screenshots here is because if I were to just pop open HTOP and, and cut between the different desktops, it would introduce a lot of load from OBS. So these numbers would be all off and I could subtract it. I, I just didn't want to do that. So on the left is Mate, on the right is Budgie. Memory usage on Mate is lower at 744 versus Budgie's 843. Not a big difference, but you know, enough to point out you can see the CPU usage on Mate is there's basically just one red bar and on Budgie, there's a lot more going on and that actually shows up in the load average. So I took this screenshot five minutes into booting into the system and we can see that Budgie five minutes in is still working on something. This isn't, it's not working hard by any means, but it's working harder at doing nothing compared to Mate, which is basically doing nothing. And that reflects in the CPU graphs. So whether that shows up in like gaming performance is another question entirely. And I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Maybe we can do a gaming benchmark comparison like I've done in the past with Budgie. I really need to revisit those, but for this one, I'd like to just wrap this up. The version of Budgie I'm using here is built from source. If you were to use Budgie pre-installed as Part of a distro like Solus or maybe even Fedora now that I think that Budgie's development has focused on that. You'd get a much more comprehensive experience but since this came from source this is just like base Budgie. For the most part it's just fine but in my opinion the lack of right click is actually kind of a deal breaker. I still don't know what's causing it but it's a thing. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope that you liked it and if you did be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.